Hi, I'm James McElroy with Holt Cat. Today we're going to do a walk around inspection on our D6N track type tractor. And I'd like to say first, if you do have any issues with any of our rental equipment, if you reference this decal on the machine and you can either scan the QR code or you can call the 188 number and somebody will address your issues. This machine is typical of our medium sized track type tractors, so much of the stuff will be the same on the other models. On the bulldozers, track type tractors, we want to check undercarriage very closely every day. What we're looking for is track adjustment, too much sag in the tracks, and we're looking for loose bolts and loose fasteners. If we capture these early, then it's a small repair. If we let them go too long, then it becomes a large repair. Also grease and oil level checks on the machine. We're going to look at the hard to reach grease fittings. There's one right down here. It's a grease fitting on both sides. Then other grease fittings or each end of every cylinder, there'll be a grease fitting. Down here we have pivot shaft. If we put our finger down here and wipe that and check for oil to make sure that pivot shaft seal is not leaking. Loose bolts on these drive segments or on these rollers down here is what we're looking for. Up in this compartment is our master switch and our hour meter and then this is our windshield washer fluid container. The compartment back here is batteries and what we're looking at for our batteries from a safety aspect we need these batteries bolted down. We don't want them flopping around in this container. Coming around the back of the bulldozer, this machine has a ripper on it so we've got grease fittings on every pin on the ripper and on the cylinder, lift cylinder here. Here's where we add our def fluid and up here is where we add our fuel. In land clearing applications we need to put some kind of latch on this fuel cap. If not we can lose it when we back up into some trees. Our ground engaging tools, our ripper tooth, we want to make sure that it's on there that we're not doing any ripper on a bare shank because it'll take metal off the shank and ruin it. Okay now we're going to get up on top of the track and we're going to check some of the some of the checkpoints inside the engine compartment. We're going to want to use our three points of contact to get on and off the machine. In this compartment, we've got our engine oil dipstick, engine oil fill. In here is air filters. Air filters need to be serviced as required. If you're working in a dusty environment, they need much more service. And this, so you need to pull these air filters out and see if they're full of dust and service them. And back behind the air filter is a sight glass for your coolant. If there's coolant in the sight glass when it's cold on level ground, you have enough to run. This is the cab air filter for the air conditioning system. This is an also as required maintenance interval. So if you're working in dusty environments, this is going to need more service to take care of your air conditioner. On the front area of the machine, we have numerous grease fittings, one on each end of the cylinder. We have a couple up here, and there's one on this big trunnion ball that accesses from the other side. These are all daily grease items. We need to keep plenty of grease in here. Other than that, we need to check our radiator to make sure that it's clean and doesn't need blowing out. We also want to check our cutting edges to make sure that they're not worn beyond the serviceable limit and we're not wearing on the blade. On this side of the machine, we want to open up the engine compartment and we're just inspecting. All these compartments we want to inspect for any type of leakage and any type of accumulation of combustibles and clean that out of the engine compartment to prevent a fire from happening. Up here, in this compartment is where we check our transmission oil. This is the transmission oil dipstick. If you'll read on the dipstick, one side it says safe to start, cold oil, engine off. On the other side of the dipstick it'll say engine running, low idle, warm oil. So make sure you know which side of the dipstick that you're reading when you check it. The rest of these are filter locations and pressure ports for maintenance. When we're up on top here, check our ROPS, our rollover protection, to make sure that all these bolts are tight. And then right here 
is the sight glass for our hydraulic oil. You can see it from the ground level. And this is where you add your hydraulic oil. Once in the cab, you can start the machine and you can move the controls around to ensure that everything is moving the way that it should and you know what the controls do. Check your screen, make sure that your gauges are functional and if there's any codes on the screen, then contact the telephone number on the QR decal.